Hello everyone. Welcome to our second class in routing. In this lecture, we are going to understand how to connect a router to PC using console cable. Understanding basic Cisco IIS commands. Okay. So before we can begin our class, kindly for those who have not subscribed to our channel, kindly do us that favor. Click on the subscribe button and add as one count. Okay. Let's start our class. Connecting PC to a router using console cable. In the previous class of switching, we understood how we can connect a switch to PC using console cable and, con and configure that switch from our PC. Right? And we listed some of the requirements that are needed for this to happen. Under the requirements, we had hardware and software requirements. And hardware requirements, we need a PC, we need a router, and a console cable. Under software requirements, we need a, either of these software, PuTTY, Teratum, or Secure CRT. These softwares basically are used to emulate the terminals. Okay? So, this is our console cable. We have one end as a VGA connector and the other as RJ45 connector. So the VGA connector basically we use it to connect to our PC while the RJ45 to our router. So suppose we want to configure the router, the RJ45 connector will be inserted into a router while the VGA connector will be inserted into the PC. Okay? And we will use one of these softwares, either PuTTY, Teratum, or Secure CRT, to configure the switch. Okay. To configure the router, we will obtain the router interface using either of these softwares. So these softwares are very very important, and mostly we use PuTTY. Okay. We use PuTTY to obtain the router or the device interface in our PC so that we can configure that device from our PC using console cable. Okay. And guys, uh, what's important here is to know how console cable looks like and which end is connected to each device. Okay. So you must know that the, uh, the VGA end is connected to PC while RJ45 end is connected to the router, okay? And some PC don't have VGA port. So this one will not work. They will have to use USB VGA converter, okay? Because I believe no PC lacks USB port. So they will use USB VGA connect converter I mean suppose your PC doesn't have a VGA port okay and guys I'm going to show you this in our practicals so don't worry about anything okay and uh, the next thing is basic iOS commands so we're going to understand how to move from user exec mode to privilege exec mode and to move from privilege exec mode to configuration mode all right guys these parameters or these domains we have already covered them in our switching class so if you have any trouble or suppose you've not watched the previous classes kindly i will leave a link on the description part click on the link and uh, watch the previous video because for the case of connecting a device to pc using a console cable either switch or a router it's the same thing we require the same things like a so like these softwares and a pc and a console cable okay so let's go to our practicals okay guys this is our packet tracer and this is the workspace if you want to select your devices you come down here okay we just over over these devices you will see where routers are switches are 
app sir wireless devices sir firewall sir and uh, you know end devices sir okay so i will select a router and i encourage you to select 2911 router okay so we just need one router okay to for the demonstration purposes and a pc we need a pc okay and guys we said we want to connect a pc to router using which cable console cable so we will need a console cable come down here and click on this uh, connection and just over over these links you will see where it's written console cable down here if you over over something you will see its name is written down here okay so if you go over this one its name is written console so i'll just choose console and come and click on the pc for the case of connecting pc to router using console cable which interface do we use we use rs232 okay so just click on rs232 then you come to the router click on the router and which port now do we use we said console port it's here click on it all right guys so we we'll manage to connect pc to router using console cable so what's remaining it's how to configure this router how are we going to obtain the router interface from our pc just click on the pc and then come to where it's written desktop click on the desktop and now guys we say that the requirements are we need a pc we need a router we need a console cable and any emulating software and for the case of packet tracer these softwares are already installed so what we are going to do is just click on where it's written terminal just click on the terminal right and leave everything the way they are okay don't don't change anything just leave the way they are and click okay guys we have obtained the router interface from our pc see th this one is pc and we have obtained the router interface from our pc okay guys so you will be asked would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog no we want to configure this router manually so just write no and hit enter can you see guys so this is the default name of that router okay we've been able to access the router interface from our pc using console cable so we can start configuring that router from this point and guys before we can configure the router there are some parameters that we have to understand how to move from user exec mode to privilege exec mode then from privilege exec mode to configuration mode remember by default these devices are in user exec mode under user exec mode no configuration can take place okay and you cannot configure the router when it's in user exec mode this is user exec mode a router with greater sign so what about if you want to move from the user exec mode to privilege exec mode where we can configure few parameters or display some few parameters so we use which command enable okay enable okay just like that have you seen a change a router with the greater sign has changed to a router with a shine meaning now this is privilege exec mode this was user exec mode and we used which command to move from user exec mode to privilege exec to privilege exec mode we used ena enable or you simply just type en okay and what about if you want to exit from privilege exec mode back to user exec mode we use which command exit like this 
and hit enter. Have you seen? We are back to a router with greater sign. So guys, let's move back to privilege exec mode again. Enable en or enable is the same thing. Then we want to move from privilege exec mode to configuration mode. Which command do we use? We use a command that's called configure terminal. Okay. Have you seen the changes? The first one was a router with greater sign that was user exec mode. The second one is a router with a shine that's privilege exec mode. Then the third one is a router, then in bracket config with ash. And which command did you use to move from user exec mode into privilege exec mode? Was en or enable. Then from privilege exec mode to configuration mode we use which command configure terminal okay guys all right guys so from this point we can be able to configure that router and most of the configuration will be done in the next class so let me just show you something that you can at least try on your own we want to configure the host name of this router what do we do we just type which command host name host host name then uh, let's say r1 r1 trial console okay guess have you seen the change the default name was a router and now the the configured name is r1 trial console okay guys so guys typically this is very very simple okay how to connect pc to router using cons console cable okay and we can go to back to our router and see those changes that we made so if we click there can you see what we are configuring on the pc it's the same thing that is here configured us name as r1 trial console okay so guys th these things are basically very easy and if you suppose you want to move from Configuration mode back to privilege exec mode. We just use switch command exec exit. I mean, have you seen? Then from privilege exec mode back to user exec mode exit. Okay, guys. So I hope you have understood how to connect your PC to router using console cable. And the main aim of connecting PC to a router using on console cable. Is to configure that router when you are there okay but suppose we are away we normally configure that switch we normally configure the device remotely and for remote configuration we use switch interface auxiliary port okay and uh, for the auxiliary port we connect to a modem then that those devices have some IP address through which we can telnet or use a SSH protocol to obtain the device interface from where we are remotely. Okay guys, so let me see what's remaining so that I can further explain. I hope you've understood how to connect. Also, I hope you've understood how to move from user exec mode and privilege exec mode and from privilege exec mode to configuration mode knowing that no configuration can happen in use exec mode very very little configuration will happen at uh, privilege exec, exec mode then this is where the global configuration will happen okay all configuration will happen at configuration mode okay all right so guys so guys, that marks the end of today's class and uh, see you again in the next class. Suppose you have not subscribed, kindly do us that favor. Click on the subscribe button before you log out. Bye and see you again in the next class.